Hi everyone, Sonia Choquette here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to tell you the secret to having great intuition. But before I do, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel because every week I come on and give you great tips and tools for having the best intuition. And frankly, at this point in time, we need it. It's not optional. It's necessary to really live at your fullest potential, to be safe, to be happy, to be grounded, to be secure, to make the best decisions. So let's get on to what is the secret to having great intuition? Well, here it is. You have to be honest. Now, it might come as a surprise to you, but actually, most people aren't willing to be honest with themselves. They prefer, instead of having the real accurate guidance, which basically gives you the feedback to tell you what is really happening, what is going on behind appearances, that is beyond what you're, you're being told and what, what other people are seeing and really registering the true and accurate frequency, most people just don't want to hear that. They would rather hear the, the, the fantasy reality, like, you know that job you just applied for? It's the best job for you. Instead of your intuition saying, mm, be careful, that, that particular business is about to go bankrupt. Or, you know that person you just went on a great date with? Well, your, 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 your ego wants to hear, he, this person loves you, it's the love of your life, it's the best relationship you're ever gonna have, but your intuition is saying, mm, you were getting basically um, the wool pulled over your eyes and that's not a person who's really very authentic or real or interested in having a, a genuine relationship. I think you know what I mean. There is a point in time where the reason people don't listen to their intuition is because they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear what's really going on because they're afraid it will disappoint them, it will interrupt their fantasies, it'll demoralize them, and, and you've got it all wrong because the truth is, intuition saves you the time, the disappointment, the heartbreak later that any true situation will ultimately bring about if it's not authentic and grounded and good for you. One of, the te one of my teachers once said to me many years ago, anything authentic will withstand scrutiny. So if you don't have a good vibe on something, if you're not feeling it, instead of being in denial and, and just having positive thoughts, sit down with yourself and say, what is really going on? If I'm feeling some kind of a reservation, if I am feeling some kind of hesitation or some kind of question, I need to ask, I need to acknowledge that that is a real thing that has value and I want to get to the bottom of it. Now granted, sometimes that hesitation is just your own negative ego that's always expecting bad news. So ask yourself, is this my ego? Am I actually protecting myself by being negative from the get-go? If it is, your body will kind of give you an acknowledgement like, yes, it is. And there's this little, very subtle shift that will happen where you'll just kind of open up a little. There'll just be a little more space inside that kind of breathes like, yes. If on the other hand, you're picking up something that doesn't feel right, I suggest that you believe it and be curious about it. Maybe it's not all or nothing. For example, I had this, this very strong intuition that I wanted to maybe make a move. And everything in me gave me this feeling of mm, not, a, not a good vibe. So I sat down with it and I thought, well, I, why, why, what is this feeling? What, what's wrong? And then I realized it wasn't that the move was wrong. It was that the timing was not correct. And as it proved that I did realize that the timing was bad because my circumstances of my life actually changed and I ended up making a completely different move than one I had foreseen at the time I was imagining or considering the first move. So the key is be honest. Do you want to hear what your intuition 
will tell you. Do you want to feel it? Do you want to receive it? Or would you rather live in fantasy land of believing it's all going to be okay and then get disappointed later or frustrated? Like, why didn't I listen? So I always tell my students, if you want your intuition to work for you, do not ask questions that you are not prepared to hear the answer to. Because you're giving your inner self mixed messages. Your ego is running interference with your spirit and your ego is trying to control things. So I always suggest that first ask yourself, am I truly available for guidance? Do I really and truly want to receive guidance? That is the game changer because if you do, all systems go. Secondly, what am I afraid of? Ask yourself and acknowledge out loud, what am I afraid of? Am I afraid of disappointment? Am I afraid of, of being left behind? Am I afraid I'm not good enough? Am I afraid that what I really want can't happen? I think it's very important to acknowledge your fears and recognize those are fears, they're not facts. So get the fears out of the way and, and the way you do it is by acknowledging them. Because it's not fears that get in your way, it's hiding them that starts to run interference with your guidance. Once you acknowledge them and you can say, okay, these are fears, they're not facts, then ask yourself, ask your inner self, are these fears legitimate? Is there anything about these fears that is a guidance and a warning and a protective um, feeling or vibration that's trying to get my attention? Because the very, the, the, the kind of the primary intuition that anybody's going to receive is for self-protection, for survival, for safety. And of course you want to hear that. If something's not a good idea or there's something about the situation that might be temporarily disappointing, but ultimately will protect you, wouldn't you want to know? For example, I had a client a few years ago, well, it was quite a few years ago, but it is coming to mind, who wanted to take a, 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 what she called a dream job in San Francisco. She wanted to move her family out. She was going to become a, 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 a position, a very high position in a startup out in San Francisco. It was creative. The interviews went well. Everything sounded fabulous. And yet, when she asked me about it, I said, well, what does your intuition say? Is it green lights or is it, is, are you getting some red lights? And she said, well, it's green lights. I, this is the best job ever. And I said, I don't, I don't hear that in your voice. I don't, I don't feel that in your energy. I actually feel that something's off. And it, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. I don't want to ruin the fun. I don't want to rain on the parade, but something's off. So... I suggest that you do a little more digging. You ask a little more, you 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 get more you you get more information. Those are some of the things you can do. And then really truly turn it over your to, to your higher self and say, this is what I always say to my higher self every day. It's a prayer actually. Divine Spirit, move me in the direction of my highest good. And the good of all concern and the good of everyone I'm affecting. So she was, she was disappointed with the conversation, but I said, are you surprised? There's a difference. She said, no, not really. There is something about this that is almost too good to be true. Well, she ended up not taking the job and she was upset with herself and said, you know, maybe you talked me out of it. Maybe I talked myself out of it. Maybe I blew it. But within weeks of her not accepting the job, the bank, the, the startup went bankrupt and the whole thing collapsed, which would have been a disaster for her and her family had she quit her present job and moved them all out to the West Coast from Chicago. So want to know the truth of things because that's what your intuition is. It's the truth of things. And if you want to, to be guided properly, you have to be honest with yourself and say, I'm available for the truth of things. I am available to receive the guidance that gives me an opportunity to make the best informed decision. Now, that brings me to my final point. You can ignore your intuition, 
but I don't think you should silence it. Let your intuition speak. Something's off, it's not quite right, but I'm doing it anyway. Something's off with this person that I'm going out with, but I'm gonna go out anyway. Something's off with this investment. It doesn't feel proper. It doesn't feel fully in the flow, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because you do have free will. And at least then, by acknowledging that your intuition had guided you, later you can see, well, it was probably right. And in the future, I will listen to it. So you, the secret is to be honest and actually only ask your intuition to guide you in those matters in which you are fully and truly available for guidance, including information that might be different than what your ego wants to hear. So if you can find the way to say, look, what I really want is I don't want an alternate reality. I want to live in the real world of, of whether something's good for me or not, or not even the real world. I want to call it the authentic world. What is true and authentic and grounded and reliable and is giving me the kind of guidance that will protect me, protect my loved ones. That's what I want. And that's what I want for you. So, if you have reservations and fears, name them. If you're feeling any kind of vibe, even if it's the most subtle little hesitation, acknowledge it. Dig deeper, ask more questions, then turn it over to divine self and say, move me in the direction of my highest good. Good for all concerned. So that's my tip for today. I know that if you start working with this tip, you're going to get a lot more guidance a lot faster and it's going to be 100% reliable. So thanks for tuning in. If you know somebody who could use this that's trying to get in touch or make their right decisions, share this with them. Do subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you again very soon with another practical tip on how to develop your intuition. All my love. Bye.